Hello everyone, it's Rob the Guy. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about three things. We're gonna talk about Palantir and the new IBM partnership. We're also gonna talk about earnings and what I think is gonna happen with earnings and all that good stuff. And when it is earnings, because a lot of people apparently don't know when earnings is. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the lockup expiration, when that the date actually is and what I expect is going to happen from that and what I'm going to do around that day and stuff like that. But first, make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button. We're, we're so close to breaking 400 and, and that's pretty good. I didn't expect me to be growing this channel. I know it's not growing like rapidly, but it is definitely growing consistently. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for all your support. I'm going to keep making videos like this for you guys, showing you guys how to make money when your favorite stock like Palantir is going up, going down, and what to do kind of around like certain situations and stuff like that. So I'll be making these types of videos, just showing you guys what I think, um, like based on my opinion analysis and everything that's going on, what I think is best and where we go from there. Okay, real quick, I have to give you guys my daily update on my portfolio and what's going on. So as you can see, this is actually kind of like in a new all time high for me in my portfolio. I'm at 127 and this morning I was actually at 142,000 which I thought was pretty cool it's kind of crazy but this is exactly what I've been saying where um the Palantir goes around 40 or 41 dollars and my portfolio should be around 145,000 so I didn't sell this morning even though it did spike um I thought there'd, there'd be no point in selling at 39 we're gonna hit 40 at least so I'm just gonna keep waiting for that 40 and I think by by the way things are going right now, we might actually hit like 45 by Friday. So see, I predicted um, that we were going to end somewhere between 35 and 36 dollars by Monday and we're a little bit above 36 dollars. So it's still right around my prediction and I believe Tuesday through Thursday is probably going to be going up and down between 36 and 38. And then by Friday, um, I feel that we're definitely going to hit 40. If we break 40, like let's say we break $40.50, I feel like it could just keep going from there and who knows where it will end. I know like probably like two weeks ago or three weeks ago on a Friday, we just like shot up about like 20 or 25%. So I feel like something similar might happen. So keep in mind that Friday is the last trading day that, that you have because on Monday of next week, the stock market will be closed because of a holiday and tuesday is it's the actual earnings day which is february 16th so tuesday it will be the earnings but it's pre-market so basically friday is your last trading day and that's why i think a lot of people are going to jump in on friday and just like spike it up and then also like friday is when like options expire and all that stuff so calculating all all that into um like having like the short sellers have to like buy in and stuff so I just, I just feel like it's gonna spike because of that because of the retail investors because of wall street bets and because of today it had a lot of coverage today because of the new ibm partnership like you could almost hear pounds here being talked like all across like the the finance news which i thought was good so that also caused like the initial spike in the morning i feel like we were gonna have a spike regardless we were gonna have a spike to like 36 35 from 34 um today regardless of the IBM partnership. The IBM partnership just made that additional spike in the morning and then people started taking profits and you know so on. But I feel like it's definitely gonna hit 40 by this week. So 40, um, definitely by Friday if not earlier. If we're already at 40 before Friday, I think Friday might jump to 45. That's, what, that's just what I'm predicting. So as you can see in my portfolio, I'm at 127. Uh, my goal is to hit 150. I feel like I'll be really close to 150 by, by the end of this week because of Palantir. I feel like it's going to hit 40 at least. So as you can see, I have all my money, all my money in, in shares. I even have some margin, a little extra to, to have a little extra thousand or two thousand shares. I have money in my calls and my calls were like at, I don't know, I think they were like a six or eight thousand in the morning as well. But I don't want to sell anything until I see that we're at around 40. I don't want to sell anything underneath 40. I, I just feel like I'll just be selling too early, you know? So I, I'm going to wait till 40. And basically that's what I did. Like this morning I saw like it was spiking and I was like, oh, that's great. But it's not 40. So I just went back to sleep, you know? 
Like there's no point of watching it unless if it's sporty. And that's, I'm gonna stand by that. 40 by this Friday, if not earlier. And if it doesn't hit 40 per Friday, I'll be really surprised. And I might have to switch switch some plays around because um, either way, I still feel like we're gonna hit 40. We're gonna hit 40. So I feel like it's there, there's too much good news for it not to hit 40, if you know what I mean. At least 40, so, so we'll see. All right, so let's talk about the IBM partnership. So this is really good news because it's a partnership. It's not a new contract, so don't don't mistake it for like a contract where Palantir is selling to IBM like their their products and stuff, and it's a contract for like multiple years and stuff. This is an actual partnership. So IBM is basically like, hey, if you guys let us use your Foundry services, we'll basically give you like our sales force of 2,500 people. So what that means is Palantir right now, how they like their actual sales team, the people who are, go out and like, you know, contact leads or make calls and stuff. There's only, they have a team of 30 basically. And that team of 30, like, yeah, is, is doing well. However, you can only do so much uh, with a certain amount of people in a certain amount of time because I'm assuming they're working eight hours unless if they're working overtime. But basically, IBM is like, hey, you know what? You guys can use our 2,500, you know, employees to go ahead and do more sales and call more people and reach out to more businesses and attract more leads and all that stuff. So that's that's huge. That's like what times uh, a bad amount, thousand percent <laughs> increase around there. So that's like that's huge. <laughs> you just gave them like a whole army, basically, right? So I thought that was like really good. And then if you also look at this article, the uh, the CEO was basically saying that this is basically like the biggest partnership that we had like so far, expect more. And that was like an actual quote uh, based on uh, Yahoo Finance. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it's cool knowing that um, Peter Thiel, he's one of the co-founders, he invented, um, or he was one of the founders of PayPal. And he was also an early investor in Facebook. And I know there's also this rumor going around about Palantir teaming up with Facebook. That may that may, that may actually be true because of um, one of the the, the co-founders background and stuff like that. So I feel like one of like I definitely feel like the leadership has a lot of connections. So they have a lot of con connections in Silicon Valley type, and also with the U.S. government. So I feel like Palantir is definitely in a good place to be especially if you're an early investor so i think it's uh, i still think it's good to to get in i still think we're gonna hit 40 easy this week and, and such all right so remember earnings is february 16th it's on tuesday and just remember that friday is basically your last day to be trading beef before um because on earnings will be announced on pre-market so you never know what might happen in earnings i think they, they're gonna have good earnings. I think they're gonna either meet or pass their estimates. However, I, I've seen many times where even if earnings is good, a, a stock could just tank just just because, you know, there's, there's multiple reasons. Um, or a, the stock could just like surge like crazy, right? It's very rare where you see the stock just flatline after earnings. That's very rare, but it does happen. Okay, so let's talk about this whole lockup expiration thing. So just to, just so you guys know the, the actual date, based on all the research that I've been finding, the actual date when the lockup expiration is supposed to happen is three days after the earnings, which should be February 19th. So that's when the um, insiders have like basically the right to go ahead and sell shares. Now, two things. So number one, I don't think they're gonna like all the insiders are gonna be like, hey, you know what? Let's just sell all of our shares. That that wouldn't make any sense, especially if if they just like went public. That that wouldn't make any sense at all. You'd just be um yeah, you'll be taking small profits based on like what you could have later on. And and I believe most of most employees usually get um part of their compensation is is part of or a, a large chunk of it is is based on stocks. So. Why would you just sell them right now? You know, <laughs> why they could be worth way more later on. Anyways, that's that's my analysis on it. And then the second thing is, I don't think you can even sell everything. Like, um, I know for my company, 
we get a certain amount of shares and we get a certain amount of shares like every six months or so. However, we can't just um, go ahead and dump or sell all the shares that we have because we don't have all the shares. We, we have access to a certain amount of shares every six months. So I feel like this lockup expiration is probably like something very similar. So if I was a Palantir employee and when I got hired, they're like, you know what? We're going to give you 10,000 shares, but you're, you're only allowed to sell like 1,000 like on February 19th, right? And then the next thousand or next 5,000, you'll be able to sell the next year and so on and so on. I don't think it just locks up all the shares for all the employees to sell. And even if it does, I don't think all the employees are just gonna sell it in there. That wouldn't make any sense, but that's my take on it. So I feel like there is still um, the fear going on. Um, I feel like that that fear, even though if, if it's not really gonna cause anything dramatic, by itself, I feel like just with the fear tactic, it, it might cause some people to sell probably a little bit before February 19th. However, I do see a lot of people that are like, you know what, um, I'm not in Palantir right now, but I do want to get in and I want to, I'm waiting for that lockup expiration. That's, that's not a bad idea, but I feel like that could uh, backfire on you because, um, you're not the only one that's waiting, you know, there's there's definitely huge uh, hedge funds and big companies and like even ARK and stuff like that that are also waiting for a good price. The second there's a good price, they're just going to jump in and usually they jump in before us, the retail investors. So I don't know if it's wise to wait. Uh, you probably want to get in a little bit now, maybe do like 50 in now, 50 in later, you know but uh, I don't think you're, you're gonna get the deal that you expect, basically, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Make sure you like, make sure you, you add any comments if you have any questions, I'll get to you guys as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe, we're, we're almost past 400. Let's try to get to 800 next. I'll see you guys in the next video.